Jake and James here. Gonna do a quick VFX breakdown of our real life superpower video. Yeah, so a lot of you have been requesting this. Um, I'm just gonna quickly show you the two main effects the tennis ball win, which is that one, and then the car win afterwards when that finishes. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, the nice car skid in without the wheels moving. Yeah, um, there are quite a lot of requests. Okay, so he, the tennis ball win, if you might guess, we didn't actually, um, James didn't actually catch it with his mind. That's the original shot. Very simple, very basic. We then went on to shoot the tennis ball in front of a blue screen. Blue because obviously the tennis ball is green, so we can use a green screen. Okay, so put the shot of the tennis ball over the footage of the ball being thrown. Um, move it to the point with the ball spinning. And then quickly cut out the other tennis ball, just the area around it. And then key out the blue, so we use um, key light 1.2. Just select the color. Um, Select a thing. <laughs> Click on the blue, get rid of that blue. Um, it's not a key in tutorials, so I'm not going to go into too much detail, but play around with the settings uh, in order to make, make it look right. Move to the point of your footage where you want the ball to first appear. You can see it in my hand there. Go forward a few frames to where you want it to appear. Move the uh, shot of the ball to appear at that point. Get it in the right position. So just move it out of there to where the ball should be thrown. Scale it down to the right sort of size. Easy. Keyframe your position and keyframe scale. Go forward a few frames to the point where you want it to be caught. Um, then scale it down to the right size. Very, very simple, this is James. Very simple. Yes, it is. I'm learning so much. I know. Um, important now, make sure motion blur is turned on because it will not look right without it. Um, and then to do it going backwards, basically the exact same thing, but you're making it bigger rather than smaller. So I'll just go forward to the point where I catch it. This part's really easy because you see the ball appear in my hand there, the real ball. So you just match it up with that. It was shot in the same light, so they look pretty much exactly the same. And then uh, all I did was, once I was happy with the scale and the position, I set a keyframe for the opacity um, on that frame. There, like that. And I went forward a frame. And turn the opacity down to zero so it looks like the ball in my hand is now the same ball. Magic. So there's the final effect. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, now on to the car. Okay, basically start you take your first frame and you just take a print screen of the car wheel, so you got your still one, and then just drag it on, just put it into the right place so it's coming up exactly the same. Same with the back wheel. Um very yeah. simple. Yeah, it is. And then you just simply mask out the tyre, preferably sticking to the dark parts because the light of the car is going to make that harder. Actually, you don't want the ground moving at the time. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Yeah, so then once you've done that, you um, take your first point and then track it back so then you finally get your nice little oh. car dragon oh. track. Oh. I'm not going to show this effect because it's basically the same as the tennis ball one, just basic key in. But here's the original footage. There we go. Bam. The effects break down. Done. Bye-bye.